when I started in 2011, genome sequencing, exome sequencing was rare. If patients were able to get it, a lot of times it was like shooting fish in a barrel. We would have something like an 80% diagnosis rate. But now genome sequencing, next generation sequencing is so common that we only see the families if they've already had a negative sequencing test. We go from diagnosing 80% to 10% because we're getting the most difficult of the difficult cases that have already been reviewed by really good geneticists um, and getting to us where they just can't figure it out. You know, that's one thing I think AI can really address, shortening this diagnostic odyssey for patients that really just have been jerked around, not through anyone's fault, but just by the nature of how these things go. And maybe IAI can help in analyzing symptoms or, you know, maybe you should see this doctor right away, or maybe you need this test or go to this specialist and just make things happen a lot faster.